Archaeologists make bone chilling find in this cave. Researchers just discovered a 40,000 year old cave filled with human bones that tells the most disturbing story ever found about our ancestors. And it's changing everything we thought we knew about early human behavior. When archaeologists enter a cave, they expect to find the usual traces of ancient life. Stone tools, animal bones, maybe some cave paintings if they're lucky. What they don't expect to find is evidence that challenges our most fundamental assumptions about human nature and forces us to confront the darkest chapters of our species past. But that's exactly what happened in a remote cave system in the Carpathian Mountains of Romania. What started as a routine archaeological survey turned into one of the most disturbing discoveries in the history of human evolution. A find so shocking that several team members requested to be removed from the project. The cave contained evidence of behaviors that archaeologists hoped they would never find. Behaviors that suggest our ancestors were capable of acts that would horrify even modern societies. And the most chilling part? The evidence suggests these weren't isolated incidents, but systematic practices that continued for thousands of years. Chapter 1. The Chamber of Bones The discovery began innocently enough in the summer of 2024, when a team of Romanian archaeologists was conducting a survey of previously unexplored cave systems in the Carpathian Mountains. Dr. Mircea Angelinu of the University of Bucharest was leading the expedition when his team discovered a narrow passage that opened into a large chamber deep within the cave system. What they found inside defied explanation and challenged everything they thought they knew about early human behavior. The first thing that struck us was the sheer number of bones, Dr. Angelinu recalls. But as we began to examine them more closely, we realized we were looking at something far more disturbing than a simple burial site. The chamber contained the remains of at least 47 individuals, all dating to between 35,000 and 40,000 years ago. But these weren't ordinary burials. The bones showed clear evidence of deliberate modification, cut marks, fractures, and arrangements that suggested something far more sinister than respectful interment of the dead. Advanced forensic analysis revealed the horrifying truth. These bones showed unmistakable signs of cannibalism, but not the desperate, survival-driven cannibalism that archaeologists occasionally find at sites where people faced starvation. This was something far more systematic and disturbing. The cut marks on the bones were precise and deliberate, made with sophisticated stone tools. The bones had been systematically broken to extract marrow. Most chilling of all, the remains showed evidence of repeated visits to the site over hundreds of years, suggesting this wasn't an isolated incident but an established practice. Deep Origins Insight The capacity for both extraordinary compassion and unthinkable cruelty has been part of human nature for far longer than we ever imagined, and both traits may have been essential to our species' survival. Chapter 2 The Ritual Evidence As the team continued their analysis, they uncovered evidence that made the discovery even more disturbing. Signs that the cannibalism wasn't driven by hunger, but by ritual and belief. The bones weren't scattered randomly throughout the chamber. Instead, they were arranged in deliberate patterns. Skulls placed in circles, long bones arranged in geometric designs, smaller bones sorted by type and size. This level of organization suggested the acts weren't desperate measures, but carefully planned ceremonies. What we're seeing is evidence of ritualized cannibalism, explains Dr. Eric Trinkaus of Washington University, who was brought in to analyze the remains. The patterns suggest these people believed consuming human flesh served some spiritual or social purpose. If you're finding these disturbing revelations about our ancestors shocking, 
make sure to hit subscribe now. In our Origins Explored series, we're uncovering the most unsettling truths about early human behavior that mainstream archaeology rarely discusses. But the evidence gets even more chilling. Analysis of the bones revealed that the victims weren't enemies or outsiders. They were members of the same community. DNA analysis showed clear family relationships between many of the individuals, suggesting that people were consuming their own relatives. The age distribution of the remains tells an even more disturbing story. While adults of all ages are represented, there's a disproportionate number of elderly individuals and young children, the most vulnerable members of the community. This pattern suggests the cannibalism may have been tied to beliefs about age, weakness, or social status. Perhaps most horrifying of all, some of the bones show evidence of healing around the cut marks, indicating that some individuals survived initial attacks only to be subjected to repeated mutilation over time. The implications are almost too disturbing to contemplate. Chapter 3 the social structure of horror. The systematic nature of the evidence suggests these practices weren't random acts of violence, but organized behaviors that were integrated into the social structure of these early human communities. Analysis of the cave stratigraphy reveals that the ritualized cannibalism continued for at least 500 years, spanning multiple generations. This wasn't a temporary breakdown of social order, but an established tradition passed down from parents to children over centuries. The continuity of the practice suggests it was socially sanctioned and probably served important functions within the community, notes Dr. Tim White of UC Berkeley, a specialist in prehistoric violence. As disturbing as it is to contemplate, these behaviors may have helped maintain social cohesion and hierarchy. The evidence suggests a complex social system where cannibalism served multiple purposes. Some individuals appear to have been consumed immediately after death, possibly as part of funeral rites. Others show evidence of being kept alive and subjected to systematic mutilation over extended periods, suggesting they may have served as a form of living sacrifice or punishment. The cave also contained evidence of sophisticated tool-making specifically designed for processing human remains, stone knives with specialized edges for cutting flesh, bone hammers for breaking open skulls, and even what appears to be primitive surgical instruments for precise dismemberment. This level of specialization suggests that certain individuals within the community became experts in these practices, a prehistoric equivalent of executioners, or ritual specialists whose role was to carry out the systematic processing of human victims. Chapter 4 The Psychological Implications Perhaps the most disturbing aspect of the discovery isn't the physical evidence, but what it reveals about the psychological capacity of our ancestors. Modern psychological research has shown that engaging in cannibalism requires overcoming some of the most fundamental human taboos. The fact that these early humans not only overcame these taboos, but institutionalized cannibalistic practices suggests a level of psychological conditioning that's difficult for modern minds to comprehend. What we're seeing is evidence that early humans were capable of systematically dehumanizing members of their own species explains Dr. Steven Pinker, a cognitive scientist who studies the evolution of violence. This required sophisticated psychological mechanisms for suppressing empathy and normalizing extreme violence. The evidence suggests these communities developed elaborate justifications for their practices. The ritualistic nature of the cannibalism the careful arrangement of bones and the continuation of practices over centuries all point to belief systems that not only permitted but required the consumption of human flesh. 
but perhaps most chilling is what this reveals about the transmission of cultural practices. Children growing up in these communities would have witnessed these rituals from an early age, becoming conditioned to see cannibalism as normal and necessary. The psychological mechanisms that allowed this conditioning may still exist in modern humans, dormant but potentially activatable under extreme circumstances. Deep Origins Revelation The thin veneer of civilization that separates us from our most primitive impulses may be far thinner than we like to believe, and the capacity for systematic cruelty may be as much a part of human nature as our capacity for love and cooperation. Chapter 5 What This Means for Understanding Human Nature The bone-chilling discovery in the Carpathian Cave forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about human nature and the origins of our species' capacity for both creation and destruction. The evidence suggests that the psychological mechanisms that allow humans to engage in systematic violence against their own species aren't aberrations or modern developments. They're ancient adaptations that may have been essential to early human survival. The same cognitive flexibility that allows us to cooperate in large groups may also enable us to dehumanize and destroy those groups when circumstances change. Understanding the full range of human behavioral capacity, including its darkest aspects, is crucial for understanding how our species evolved and how we might prevent similar behaviors in the future, argues Dr. Richard Wrangham of Harvard University who studies the evolution of human aggression. The discovery also raises disturbing questions about other archaeological sites. If systematic cannibalism could continue for centuries in one location, how many other sites might contain similar evidence that archaeologists have overlooked or misinterpreted? The careful ritualized nature of the practices suggests they may have been more widespread than anyone previously imagined. Perhaps most importantly, the find reminds us that human nature encompasses both our greatest achievements and our most horrifying capabilities. The same species that created art, music, and complex social structures was also capable of systematically consuming its own members for hundreds of years. This doesn't mean we're doomed to repeat these behaviors, but it does suggest that the capacity for extreme violence is deeply embedded in human psychology. Understanding this capacity, acknowledging it rather than denying it, may be essential for preventing its expression in modern contexts. The bone-chilling find in the Carpathian Cave isn't just a window into our past, it's a mirror reflecting aspects of human nature that we'd prefer not to see. But perhaps by confronting these uncomfortable truths about our ancestors, we can better understand ourselves and work to ensure that the darkest chapters of human history remain firmly in the past. To watch the latest on how early humans lived, click this video here.